Good day everyone, I'm Joshua Clement and today I'm going to talk to you about jigsaws. The jigsaw is most commonly used to cut out designs in wood. You can cut out circles straight out of the middle of a piece of wood without having to cut in from the side. You can also cut little pieces of trim to go around your chests or in the corners without having to damage the entire piece of wood. With a jigsaw, you have a trigger with a lock on there. That way you can guide it without having to squeeze the trigger the whole time. It gives you a little bit more stability when you're trying to cut out those different angles. You also have a different speed setting. That way you can slow down around your curves. That way you can get nice and smooth corners or curves. You have different settings to slow the blade down to a very slow motion so you can be real nice and steady with that. A lot of times the jigsaw will come with a key. This happens to be an Allen wrench. You can adjust the plate of your jigsaw by loosening the screws or bolts on the bottom. You can adjust the plate so that way you can cut it at a 45 degree angle if you want it to taper out or you can cut it back in so it tapers back in so you can put a little piece of trim on there. You put it to where you want and you go ahead and you tighten it up. When it comes to putting a blade in, you're going to take usually that same key and loosen up the mounting screws at the tip of the jigsaw. Then you're going to take your blade and put it with the blades facing towards the front of the saw. And it should slide right in there. And then you just go ahead and tighten it up. You want to make sure that when you put the blade in, your blade stays nice and straight and it's not curved to one side because that's going to make your blade break a little bit easier. On this plate back here, you have a wheel. This wheel helps support the back of the blade so it doesn't snap when you're using it. You're going to loosen up the same screws that adjust the plate. And you'll push it forward until it sits right against the blade. You don't want to push it too much to where it bends the blade. Then you'll go ahead and tighten up your screws. Now they sell different types of blades for your jigsaw. You have a metal blade which has real fine teeth to be able to cut through that metal without ripping it. Then you have a plastic blade. The plastic blade has the teeth spread a little bit further than the metal but not quite as far as the wood. That way you can cut through it without melting it. This tool is for little detail work, cutting out designs. You don't want to try to cut through 2x4s with it because it's not designed to handle that much wood. You only want to go about an inch thick with these. You don't want to try to push it any further because the motor is just not powerful enough to handle that much wood. It's not going to be able to cut through it thoroughly. It's going to end up burning up the motor inside. When you're cutting out designs, you want to make sure that you aren't pushing real hard forward because that's going to end up snapping your blade. You also want to make sure that you don't turn on a dime. You want to kind of curve it into it. That way your blade doesn't get pinched and end up snapping and a lot of times when you're doing that it's going to end up kicking back and gouging into the piece of wood that you're trying to cut instead of cut it. When using a jigsaw it's a good idea to have a drill and a bit. You want to make sure that the bit is a little bit bigger than the blade that you're using. That way you can drill to the side of your line without having to cut from the outside of the wood and you're going to end up saving a lot more time from cutting just around the object than cutting in and then around the object. You can also stop on a dime that way without having to turn your blade. You can put a couple holes in there, especially for your receptacles on your plywood or OSB wood. This is a great thing to have so that way you aren't wasting a lot of wood. When using a jigsaw you want to make sure that you mark your lines nice and bold because there's a lot of dust that gathers up on those lines and it's going to be harder to see. So you want to make sure they're nice and bold. That way you can zip right through them. Thank you all for watching and good luck with this project.